you getting a little blemish right there. Mm, Got to take care of that. But anyway, I came on this morning because I left up a post last night that I want to expound on. Yeah, some of us owe the enemy a fate. We do. We sitting out here fighting on each other, killing each other, warring with each other. But we dare not swing on the enemy in the spirit. And the reason why I say in the spirit is because you're not going to uh, win a fight with the enemy, fighting them in flesh. You're going to have to pray, worship. You're going to have to go tell your daddy on them and allow your daddy to fight your battles. You're going to have to make sure that you are in praise every morning. Sometimes on your knees. Yeah. You're going to have to go to your daddy. Oh, he bothered me. She bothered me. The enemy don't like when we involve our father. Because that's when he can go haywire in our lives. He loves that you don't have a prayer life. He loves that you don't commune with your father. He loves that you don't go to church. He loves that you don't congregate. He loves that you don't worship. That you don't even have a relationship with your father. He loves it because you done made so much room for him to dance around in in your life. But like I say, some of us owe the enemy a fade. We owe him a fade to get our peace back, our joy back, our minds back right. We owe him a fate. And we know he ain't going to give it back to us without a fight. So we got to be prepared to put our boxing gloves on. In the spirit. And we got to war with the enemy. Not each other. And when I say war with the enemy. In the spirit. We need to be praying. Fasting. Worshiping. We also need to be sharing our testimonies. To help another sister or brother out along the way so that that enemy can't make room in our lives to go haywire. Some of us need to be meeting them back at the jailhouse and throwing them a fade. Some of us need to meet them back at the hospital or the doctor's office and throwing them a fade. Some of, them, some of us need to meet them back at the courthouse and throwing them a fade. Some of us need to meet him back at the bandos and throw him a fade. I wanted to come on and expound on that because we have to stop fighting each other. We have to get in the place of praise and worship and prayer because it is powerful. It is powerful. That's where you gain your peace. And like I say, the enemy doesn't want us to be at peace. He wants us to war with ourselves and each other. And he loves that you don't have a relationship with your father because he has room and you're making room for him to go haywire in your life. When you look around and you see all hell is breaking loose, it's time for you to get on your knees. It's time for you to worship your father. It's time for you to commune with your father. We need to be fighting them in the spirit. Fight, fighting them in flesh is just going to have us out here frustrated and warring with each other. You need to meet up with the enemy, even if it's in your closet at home. And you need to say, hey, I got on my boxing gloves. Meet me where I'm at. We owe the enemy a fate. You all make it a great day. Bye-bye.